every year. There are roughly 130 million babies and 150 billion stars born in the entire known universe. In a span of nine years, my wife and I had three known miscarriages. All that to say, we spent a lot of time drifting in the empty void of space wondering why the numbers never stacked in our favor. When we finally caught the comet, the geneticist saw the hundred tiny birthmarks that freckled my son's entire body and told us this was a symptom of neurofibromatosis, a rare genetic condition that can cause benign tumors to grow in the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. At its worst, so many tumors can grow, it can sag his skin and make his face look like it's melting, and I'm wondering, how will I handle the tumors if they come, if I can't even stand to look at the birthmarks that are already there? Fast forward four years. It's his first day of school and he's throwing a tantrum because I'm making him wear a hoodie in this 90 degree weather, but I can't tell him I'm trying to hide the spots. It's just I know too well people's tendency to be cruel, how they like to chop down trees just to make more handles to mount their axe, and I won't let him get whittled down by sharp tongues like that, watching them take from him and turn him into something that he's not until he slowly becomes the weapon that's turning on himself. I know too well that kind of self-hate, and right now I'm just doing my best to control the fate of what's meant to become of my son so please just put this hoodie on because you can't yet see your birthmarks for what they truly are but just then while standing there naked he held up his arms and said daddy they look like stars then pointing to the biggest one on his ribs he said daddy this one looks like a spaceship so forgive me for failing to compose myself when he started making up stories about the spaceship flying through the galaxy that is his body have i forgotten how much energy it takes to create a planet have I forgotten about the black hole that can suck the life out of an empty womb? Have I forgotten about the empty space that was left behind after the first time I dismantled the unused crib in our bedroom? How dare me think I know more about this universe than you do? How dare me forget about all the stars that fizzled out before you came shining through? You were born. You are here. Riddled with spots as proof you exist. It's why they call them birthmarks to begin with. So how lucky are we that you have more than most miracle boy? I know one day you might want to eclipse yourself into that hood to hide behind the moon as they stare and point will let them stare and point the same way they stare and point at stars in wonder and awe remind them they are merely specks of dust in the vastness of your presence and when the bullies come with their meteor shower of insults aiming to hit you at your core swing your milky way arms to the bridge of their nose so they will always know that you are the big bang your mother and i have been waiting for you walking constellation you light speed traveler you rocket of hope i've gone on with this metaphor for two long I know but every year there are roughly 130 million babies and 150 billion stars born in the entire known universe all that to say no matter how worse your condition becomes we will always love you until infinity you are our son our one in 150 billion